I'm with them. 90 degrees plus outside. Who needs pads and a pigskin when you can have a water fight instead? Farson Eden at number two Midwest. First quarter. Midwest wearing the maroon. This is their first offensive play, and it would produce some points. Casey Guzman goes around the left side and finds 29 yards of open room to run. Conversion no good, so the Oilers lead 6 to nothing. The home team was ready from the get-go, and that also means that the defense was ready as well. Cameron Ray will wind up with the interception at about midfield, and his boys would set up shop again. Starting field position played a huge factor in this game. A few plays later, Ray has taken the snaps. He'll elude the pressure, look down the field, and find a very wide open Andrew Engelman for a 17-yard score. Add on a two-point kick, and the score is now 14 to zip. More defense coming up, and unfortunately, the Pronghorns had that deer in the headlights look for a while. Isaac Orozco is going to get chased and sacked by Guzman, as Farson Eden was not getting off to a good start in this game. Midwest will get the ball back and open up their arsenal. Here's Eli Rubelman activating the pumps and going 13 yards for a touchdown of his own. We're not even five minutes into this contest, and the scoreboard already shows 22 to zero. The visitors would make it into enemy territory, but Orozco would get flushed out as Kaya Guzman and Josh Lindsay drag him down for a loss. It may be the first game of the season, but the Oilers look to be in mid-season mode. It was still 22-0 after the first 10 minutes. Second quarter, more defense for the home team and more problems for the opposition. Kaya Guzman again, that one is for a safety. 24 zip is the score, and there was more to come in this six-man game. Oiler ball again, and Ray's going to help his team live up to their name as he was a slick and slippery guy to get a hold of. 33 yards to the pump house. That will make it a 30 to zip game, and they had to keep on playing. Prices at the pump may be going down, but in Midwest, they're still rising. Ray finds Lindsay open on a 15 yard play, and the latter would score untouched. And two more points for the kick. Now it's 38 to 0. Farson Eden would fumble the kickoff, so here we go again. Rubelman takes the pitch, gets some great blocking from his buddies, and he'll spring free for a 25-yard score. It's now 46-0, but the mercy rule does not take effect until the second half. Then the Pronghorns would finally catch a break, and we'll give them some love. This is Lyndon Lehman. He's coming up the near sideline, sees the traffic, cuts back the other way, and he will break the scoring drought on this 48-yard run to the promised land. No good on the conversion, but they finally got some points despite being down 46 to six. However, the home team wanted to keep the lead at 45 points or higher, so they figured that they better score again. Casey Guzman, and no one touched him. 40 yards and gone. Halftime finally showed up and his squad was in good shape with a 54 to six advantage. Third quarter, the mercy rule is in effect, so the clock is running, and the Pronghorns had some time to get some points, which they did. This is Marcus Orozco, the only senior on the team, showing them how it's done on a 26-yard scamper that will hit pay dirt. They kept trying despite being down 54 to 14 at this point. Fourth quarter, time is flying. Nick Ray puts on a move for the Oilers and goes seven yards in order to get six points for his team. Midwest is in command leading 61 to 14. Things were slowly getting better for Farson Eden. Kelton Broadhead finds some room on the near side, gets some blocking help, and there he goes on a 37-yard run. The Oilers were not concerned, though, as this game was in the bag a long time ago. Final score, 61-21. to 21. 